Oh look, it's Luigi! Why does he have like a cookie thing? Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar, don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man, you think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. Crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. Damn, okay. Let's hear a story. Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty on harrowing, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. All right. Let me drink some water. We're going to do story time with Luigi. Okay, 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 okay. Rumble Bump Volcano. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. Many have screamed... I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know? But as fate would have it, as a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on an adventure of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they'd call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyways, he helped me fight the Rubble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem in its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not that high, high, not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All oh, you man, he I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movement and hucked Bluey up there. And bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll through the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Pump Belly Village on the Struttle Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Wanna hear some? Gotta love Luigi's story. Okay, bro. Goodbye, bro. What are you talking about? Hello, Mario. Still working hard? Or hardly working? Professor Flunky here in E-form again. There's something I forgot. The certain badge, culverts, attack. You take care of your foes with seems to fully battling out. Okay. Ah, damn it. No. The bad shop should be right over here. Oh, I see the key. You got a house key. What is this first strike thing, though? First attack enables you to defeat weak opponents with a first strike on the field. It does sound kind of nice. Yeah, please. Pretty lucky. Oh, nice. Power jump. Not bad. Last stand, whatever. Eh, I'm okay with just this one. First attack, equip that, please. An easy one to turn on. And now let's go back to Garf and give him back his thing. We can maybe even get another, uh, trouble. That's what they're called. Hey, Garf. Did you find my key? Here it is. Yes, my key. I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet hope. Thank you. Please take this as a payment for your efforts, alright? Yay, 30 coins. Wow, I feel so rich. Can we go into your home now? Yes, I can. It's so dark in here. You know, I think I can do the thingy where if it's a panel that floats up, I can do the the jump. I could probably do that at some point. Did I do safe delivery? I don't see why not. This is McGoomba and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Square. I don't know where that is, but sure. Let's go questing. Where was the thing that lifted up? I know there was one somewhere. Oh, there we go. So it's not this. In that case, I still have no idea how to open these. Ah, whatever. So back here somewhere. Was it you? Let's see. You never know who will be watching. Let's do this thing quick. Give this package to Goomfrey. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. Try not to be seen. 
I think I'm gonna be fine if I am seen. Oh no, I got caught. Imagine. I don't think that's gonna happen, but you never know, I guess. Here you go, have a box. The package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell me Goomba I said so. Do me a favor. Forget all this, you hear me? It never happened. For your sake. You never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give me Goomba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to Mikumba. Got it. Let's go. It's easy. I mean, these... These, uh... What are they called? Troubles aren't that bad. They're really errandy. I might do, like, one more before I give up. I have no idea what this guy's talking about. I'm gonna run away. If these basically all just give... Oh, no way, Puny Elder! I didn't even read that. But if most of these are kind of just end up being errands, I might just do most of them on my own. But I'll do like one more. This is Arfur and I want to open a new shop but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor shop, I need some research done. I need the price of fire flowers, sleepy sheep, and tasty tonics and rogue port. I'll meet you in the front of this building to make the exchange. Want to take on Arfur's trouble? I don't know. Is it like difficult? I guess probably not. I guess I can go. Do it. So let's see, I needed the fire flower, 10, sleepy sheep, 8, take this one, 3, 10, 8, 3, got it. So who am I talking to this to? Did you check prices for me? Yes, I did. Perfect, okay, I'm ready. First, how much are they asking for the fire flowers? 10 coins, not 90. And for sleepy sheep, 8 coins. And then lastly, tasty tonic? Three coins. That's rough. Those are some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm, even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But it's certainly helpful information. Here's the reward. Good luck. Or good work. Thank you. That one was pretty easy. I guess let's actually try and see if we can make it to right before the next chapter. Let's see if we can talk to the dude. Maybe we can. Are you sad? I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to all too well, and I don't want to go there. Okay. Could it be in here? The boss told me to look after this place. You got- uh, You do anything funny? I'll toss you like that. <laughs> I don't know why I gave him that accent. So obviously they're not here, huh? Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I get for you? I'll trade in my winnings. You can trade in the pinatas you've won for prizes, and some of our prizes can be found anywhere else. Ooh. Refund some coins if you use an item in bat. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. I don't have any of these, though. Never mind. I'm the pinata changer changing machine. I am called pinata changer. I exchange one pinata for three coins. How many will you exchange? <laughs> I don't know. I'm good. Thank you very much. Come again. Ah, no, it's a Game Boy. I like that. So, uh, where am I supposed to go? This flight goes to Glitzville. You need a ticket to travel with us. It's definitely somewhere here. Eh, I don't know. Hmm. That seems interesting. Let's go back. That's something interesting, huh? No way I've been able to do this. There must be a way to meet Don Pinata. You want to try getting information on the west side? Nope, it's too late now. No way. That's so cool. Who, me? My name's Paris, and I'm what technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Isnal, the boss of the Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and am now an amazing thief. Ha 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 ha. That's kind of cool. What's in here? Oh, uh, hello. We have a funny... Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself home if you want. Why? I don't even know who you are. Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like, there was no whomping. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all like, wow. <laughs> is that the guy you beat up? You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this, huh? Say it ain't vacation. Was that? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good jerk of a brain, Don Pinata? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? 
And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all of that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Yes. Fine, Mr. Sensitive Jerk. That'll cost you 64 coins. You know, bunching on the price on a single coin. I don't want to pay 64 bucks. They can find another way. What? Oh, fine. I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Fine. No pay, no way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheap skake. Okay. Do I actually need to pay? I don't know. Hey, we don't have much here. But make yourself at home. I pay it. 64 is kind of steep, you know? I was hoping I got to fight him if I said no. Mario's dead. I'll pay the stupid 64. <laughs> you really want me to tell you how to meet Don Pinata, that scum of the earth? Fine, it's 64. Whatever. Fine. You, you'll pay, really? Yeah, you heard me. Yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay, then clean those ears out and listen here. The store next to the piñata parlor in the west part of the town. Buy a dried mushroom, then a dizzy dial. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Got that? Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. You will answer, yellow. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh so comfy office. You got all that? Yes. The, 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 the I already forgot the names. Something D first, and the dizzy one second, and then yellow. Hello, pinata parlor. I'm guessing it was this one, right? It said the shop next to it, and a dried mushroom. Yes, please. And then a dizzy. Dizzy. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All righty, Mister. What color is your mustache? Yellow. Oops. What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Um, okay, mister. What's your favorite color? Yellow. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So, uh, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pinata. Good for you. No way. Is that the door that's been there? I saw that door before. You can go through the door. Go ahead. Go ahead with your bad self. I like that girl. How do I get that shine sprite? Okay, whatever. I did not mean to talk to you. I do not want the whole information. I want to figure out how to get this. Ah, uh, whatever. All right, Don Pinata. Sir? Hey, this is the office of the Pinata Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. I don't know. What's the... What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve to asking me for that. I'm Don Pinata. I make crying babies weep. You wanna? Sh sh you want I should run this bum out of the rail, boss? Look at him. What a wood. What? You must be paying funny. You must like pain, funny guy. You looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk. No, that ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can't wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got that? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for that blimp. Out with it. Star. What's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue that dame, you're out collecting that crystal stars? Yes. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend da about that ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, the knuckleheads believe in fairy tales. Fairy tales? Nothing. That treasure's real. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if that treasure is real or not. Got me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a, gir a guy who wants to rescue some girl. He's gone, gotta, gotta, gotta go for it. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter's eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca. 
and this Frankie and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Prejudice? Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't really rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's cause your lung can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decisions. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. I won't, it won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. Got it. Okay. And so we're just clear. If you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Okay, whatever. They're like trying to run away, right? I assume. And I want to go get that shine sprite. Oh, but I need a stupid hammer upgrade. So where have I seen anybody? Have I seen anybody nearby? They could be underground, but I don't know if that makes sense, you know? Not in here. This is the the boy with the writer dad. And the mom without Koopa. Maybe by the port, I guess. Underground or the port. That was contact ladies guy. Nobody in the background. There's like not enough space in the back. Nobody on the side. I know this dude's here, right? Goomba, Goomba, Bomb Bomb, Toads, 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 Random Antenna. There you guys are. Hey, dude. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something or are you just like sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds us now, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Doll face. Maybe we gotta head back and try to talk to the boss one last time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. And let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But, Bitter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? <laughs> of course. <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You're a swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Oh my god. <laughs> my favorite part was how the, the music, how the music was so romantic. What do we do, Mario? We at least have to tell Don Pinata something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound that appetizing. I don't even know if that's the word that she used. I'm just gonna go with it. Appetizing. Bye, Goombella. Probably should tell him where. He can still give me the bug thing. And they might have enough time to run away. So, you know, it'll be fine anyways. Can I just walk through? Or do I need to buy things again? I sure hope not. Thank you. I do not need to buy his things again. That would have been annoying. Hey, yo, boss. I heard about your daughter. Oh, look who's come back. That proverbial mustache. You gotta brighten my mood? So give what you got. I already forgot his voice. You know the way about to these two young aways, runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell ya. Oh, is that a true fact? Rogue Port Harbor, hey? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are on the harbor. Now go get them. 
Daddy, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Francesca! <laughs> boss. Forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Frankie! So, back you came, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Oh, God. Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's all my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all of me. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame. Right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Boss! Yeah. Enough. Quiet. Both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. On you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay my debt to Dom Pinata. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. <laughs> Damn it. I don't ever want to see you mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of ya. I don't care where. Just go. And that's what you expected me to say. Huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. I ain't... Even if it means getting married... Oh, whatever. Dad! No, wait. I mean, boss. Thank you so much. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go! Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. I already forgot the, the accent already. I mean, that, that was this all dead. But the 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 I'm blah blah blah. Goodbye, farewell, and thank you. I'm skipping all of the another word. I'm not saying that more. <laughs> I've said it enough. You still here? <laughs> well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter opera, soap opera. Hey, I guess the deal's a deal. You have your temp, your blimp ticket, like I said. A ticket for the blimp to travel to Glitzville. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling. Ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I know you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now go on. Get your ugly muck out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to compartment. I got some intense emotions, okay? Leave me alone. Okay, bye. Yay, awesome, we did it. Now we can go to Glitzville. And that's where we're going to end it off for today. Because I'm probably going to use the in-between episodes. To do some more of the troubles, because it's not worth doing it on stream, in my personal opinion. That's right there! To... Glitzville! For chapter t 3! So make sure to... Stay tuned! For chapter 3! Of Glitz and Glory! Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!